Yo, what's up, guys? Been a while since I played some human. We're up against Tetster here. Gonna play a little bit of uh, human tryhard. But this time on a weak race. Because last time we played, I was Orc Mirror. And now it's human. I did just see a very preliminary stat from the W3 Champions ladder, which was probably very preferentially, preferentially sorted by a propagandist on Reddit, who showed that human had all plus 50% win rate matchups. Completely unacceptable, according to the Redditor. But he probably sorted it for his uh, particular brand of truth. So human actually strong, supposedly small stats though oh yeah gaming mod you're a human you're a human you know from one human to another you are one aren't you and you wanted to uh see some human so let me do a little bit of an over explain trying to be <laughs> let me do a little bit of an over explain while we have this opportunity of how to play human against orc now, I'm expecting Tetster to be a Farseer player. And here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna play a relatively easy build to copy for new beginners, for cute nublets. Relatively easy. So, Human has a kind of like way that they can play like big game hunters style, in a sense that, uh, you know, they can, they can play large, play economically, lots of things going on in different places on the map. And this is relatively high APM requirement and management requirement. I'm going to play a simpler version, which is a two farm tech. There's three farm tech and there's a four farm expansion build. I'm going to go for a very simple two farm tech. And all we need to do is the following. We need to open up these trees. You start with Militia, so that the Null Warden purges the Militia and your Water Elemental stays alive. You creep this camp, and you stay at 24 out of 24, and then you just go to Tier 2. You let your Militia finish, go to Tier 2. Militia finish, Shift W to go back to work. Then, you start an Arcane Tower. Or Scout Tower, I should say, anyway. Then you start a blacksmith, which can be in front, as it is very tanky. And then you start the third farm. And you keep opening up this tree. You just creep small camp by small camp. Arcane tower start. Now let's discuss what would happen if an orc starts to harass you immediately. What happens is you go stand here and you just keep attacking the wolves with all your Archmage, Water Elemental and Footman. I just head on to attack. Rude. Always kite away with Farseer whenever it gets hit. Always put about two footies on Farseer. Let your water elementals take the beating. Best thing you can do is just focus Fars here, not headhunters or grunt. Because the Fars here, when he's hurt, generally they don't stay. Uh, we're actually skipping production of uh, Arcane Vault because we're going to rely entirely on priest healing. So in doing so, we'll save money. So we now he actually has a bigger army than us. We only have three footies, but he's got a grunt and three, four, five headhunters. This is generally bait. If he's doing this, it's actually because he went in the opposite direction. He would never do that unless he went in uh, the opposite direction. We're just buying time, yeah? Mountain King, Sanctum. Don't let any skirmish you have distract you from starting Mountain King, Sanctum immediately. It's more important than anything. What do you need? 
Now keep in mind, he has a rejuvenation potion, which means he may want to use it if we ever leave him alone. So we don't leave him alone. So the advantage of pushing out in this manner is that you can now turn around and militia creep a camp with the full certainty that he's on the other side of the map. So you have created space for you to farm on your side. Wait till you see me in action. Well, I'll take care of it. Well, I have we not pushed him out, but he was near us, then it would be opposite. So try to creep this. Oh, try to creep this only with MK. You don't want this to r run back and have him take it. Boots of speed on MKA is generally quite important. As is high levels. So we get the boots and now uh, some solo XP. Get gunpowder upgrades. Keep your militia on speed dial, like four, to help for a fight in the middle of the map. Once MK is level up, we're gonna push with a heal scroll. And we'll max clap. But it will not be a push to definitively win the game. Brilliance level 2, by the way. So we have more claps. It will not be to definitively win the game. But it's to inflict damage. And force resources. How many priests have we got? We want one more priest. We can make one more militia too. No, we'll make a farm. What ails? Give me Okay, it looks like it will be a finishing attack. So the reason you don't start a tower is because Vault immediately offers the benefit of being able to buy mana potions and uh, clarities and so on. In fights, you spend most effort to try and dodge the perfect war stomp by splitting your army and you focus on defensive micro over offensive micro. What, are, what is the difference? Offensive micro is say for instance this water elemental is his TC that you just click it like this and that you do things like this. This is offensive micro. The footy blocks the TC and everything is focusing. Defensive micro is reducing enemy stun effects and damage maximization on you. So this is how defensive micro would look like, right? Rifle split, MK in the middle, you clap them, and then save your priest and so on. And you don't really care what your units are attacking, as long as they're attacking anything. Now, why is that good against Orc? Farsi and TC don't have any healing. Headhunters at most have troll regeneration. He doesn't have healing ward, doesn't have heal scroll, because we bought the only one, and he doesn't have spirit link where he excels in splitting damage. So any hit on any unit is damage that is permanently dealt. 
That's why it doesn't matter what they're attacking. Of course, they could still attack optimal armor type, optimal uh, low HP units, you finish units quicker, etc. But it's really not that big of a deal. More important is that your units stay alive, your priests don't get focused, etc. So, and then you let Clap and Brilliance level 2 do the work. GG. Hope you enjoyed.